Your rosary beads, you're out here, aren't you? Aren't you out here? How are you here to tell me there's no one out here? <laughs> you're here to tell me no one's out here. First of all, I'd like to thank my opening acts today. And uh, this is uh, a real privilege for me to uh, stand in front of this place of evil and rebuke it, stand against it. You're here. Yeah, we're trying, to, we're trying to talk to you. Get away from this evil place. You know, I figured out why Catholic priests are against abortion. I figured out why Catholic priests are against birth control. It's because they want more little boys to molest. Did you guys bring food for the homeless? Sure did. Oh, what the fuck? We got we got plenty of food. We got plenty of food for uh. That's all you care about. Fuck out of here, man. Soup kitchen right down the road. Oh my! You show me a soup kitchen. Stay away from this place of pedophiles. Pedophiles. Why would you put yourself in a place? where your children could be molested. And what do they do when they find out that one of their priests is molesting boys? They send them somewhere else. They spend their money to hide these people. To hide these people. They should be turning them into the cops. Can anybody tell me what the second commandment is? Can anybody tell me what the second commandment is? Do not worship graven images what are they doing in here what are they doing here they bow down before these statues these statues that have eyes and cannot see that have ears and cannot hear have mouths and cannot speak they will bow down in front of these idols and pray to them idol worship idol worship by the way mother Teresa is burning in hellfire Mother Teresa is burning in hellfire because she bowed down to a statue. She worshiped a statue. She prayed to Mary. Where in the Bible does it say to pray to the Virgin Mary? And by the way, Mary did not stay a virgin. Oh, let me tell you that. Mary and Joseph, they were getting busy. <laughs> When Jesus spoke in Nazareth, they said, are his brothers here? Are his sisters here? Something was going on. Something was going on after Jesus. So don't believe that lie that, Jesus, that Mary stayed a virgin. Doctrines of devils, that's what you have in here. Doctrines of devils. And yeah, they hate that abortion. They hate that birth control. Give me more boys to molest. Give me no boys to molest. And it's okay if I get caught. The Vatican will send me lots of money to go somewhere else. The Vatican will spend their money to hide me. Wicked, wicked, wicked. Why don't you try to turn them into the cops? Why don't you try letting them get their judgment? Oh, lots of stuff about judgment. Oh, how can you judge me? Well, maybe if you judge yourself, we wouldn't have to. Maybe if you held your own self up to God's standard, maybe you wouldn't be judged. We're warning you of a judgment that's going to come. We're warning you of a judgment where you will stand in front of Jesus Christ. He's going to look at your life, everything that you've done, everything that you've said. And you're going to have to give an answer for that. How's that for judgment? How's that for judgment? Your rosary beads. You're out here, aren't you? Aren't you out here? How are you here to tell me there's no one out here? You're here to tell me no one's out here. Oh, there is no God. There is no God. Yeah, right. How'd you get here? How'd you get here? How? Let me guess. Everything came from nothing. Nothing decided it wanted to make everything. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. 
Now we know why Paul said women should be silent in the church. Exactly. So here we got the idol worship. We got the pedophile priests. Doctrine of devils. But we walk by. We walk by. We walk by the preaching in our yoga pants. Thinking about what we're going to drink later. You don't see God's judgment? You don't see God's judgment? This place should be filled with people. You don't see God's judgment? Shut down the streets. Shut down the celebration. Shut down the alcohol. How do we get alcohol, by the way? What do we do? We put some stuff in a bottle and we let it rot. We let it rot. That's what alcohol is. That's what you're putting into your body. You get stuff, you put a little yeast in, they call it fermentation, they let it rot. So when you're drinking alcohol, you're drinking rotten things. You will reap what you sow. If you drink things that are rotten, then that's, that's what you're going to end up with. You're going to end up with a body that's rotten. Very simple. You reap what you sow, so what are you going to sow when you walk around and you're drunk in this? You walk around after you watch your pornography? You walk around? You're going to reap what you sow. So good things, you reap good things. You sow bad things, you reap bad things. That's very simple. Very simple. I love it when I hear that somebody leaves drugs and gets right with God, starts living a holy life. I love it when alcoholics put down the bottle and then they get right with God. But you know what? They don't live very long after that, do they? Their life ends early because you will always reap what you sow. Always. We're just trying to give you a simple message today. Turn from your sin. Turn from your pornography. Turn from your idol worship that goes on in here. Turn away from these pedophile priests. You want to tell me that God loves everybody? You're going to tell me that God loves those priests when they're molesting those little boys? You're going to tell me that God loves that? He looks on that and says, Wow, I'm glad I love that guy. I'm glad I love that guy who's molesting that little boy. Hogwash. Besides, the Bible disagrees with you. The Bible says that God hates all workers of iniquity. And God hates the hands that shed innocent blood. The abortion clinic, not too far from here. Abortion has killed its millions. Millions! We want to protest. We want to protest when someone gets choked to death by an officer. But when millions die, millions of children die, we stay silent. And in fact, we'll go and we'll counter what they're doing at the abortion clinic. Woman's right. Woman's right to choose. Woman's right to choose. More like woman's right to murder. Turn or burn. Time to repent. Time to get right with God. Time to start living holy. Time to stop your homosexuality. Time to stop your drunkenness. Drunkenness. I quit alcohol more than six years ago. Quit alcohol more than six years ago. Almost destroyed me. Almost destroyed my life. Almost destroyed my marriage. But I put down that bottle and I've never picked it up again. Six years ago. Did I do a 12-step program? No, I did a one-step program. I took one step toward Jesus. One step toward Jesus. 
and my need for alcohol left me. You want to get drunk on alcohol? You want to fill yourself with lust? Why don't you fill yourself up with Jesus? Why don't you fill yourself up with Jesus? If you use as much energy for Jesus, for holy living, instead of what you do, all that energy you put in to getting drunk, all that energy that you put in toward lust, for your pornography, if you put that energy toward holy living, then you will find God. And you will be on your way to heaven. This life is just a, a finger snap in eternity. This life, you want to spend your life getting drunk? You want to spend your life watching pornography? You want to spend your life in idol worship? Like this place behind me? Is that how you want to spend your life? It all comes due. It all comes due when you die and you face Jesus. It all comes due. And he's going to show you. Not only is He going to show you your sin, but He's going to show you us. He's going to show you the preachers that you just walked by, that you gave the finger to. He's going to show you. He's going to say, look how I reached out to you. Look how I reached out to you in your rebellion. And you still rebelled against me. God's going to bring this up. God's going to bring this up to you. He's going to show you all the times that you bowed in front of these statues. He's going to show you all these times that you prayed your rosaries. You think you're die you think when you die you're going to purgatory? Show me that in the Bible. Show me where purgatory is in the Bible. Show me where confessing your sins to a priest automatically gives you forgiveness in the Bible. Show me in the Bible where it says putting ashes on your forehead gives you forgiveness of sin. You won't find it. You won't find it. Well, we got empty streets out here today. I'm glad for these empty streets. I'm glad that Mardi Gras was canceled. I'm glad. Mardi Gras is all about sin. Mardi Gras is all about sin all you want. Because guess what? You can put some ashes on your forehead and you're forgiven. Yay! Hallelujah! Hogwash! Hogwash! That's not in the Bible. You want to rebel against God like that? That's what you want to do? You want to rebel against God and then think that ashes on your forehead is going to give you forgiveness? Ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. What does the Bible say? The Bible says... Once you sin willfully, after you've been given salvation, there's no sacrifice left for you. Paul wrote in Romans, What then? Shall we continue in sin so that grace may abound? God forbid. How can we, which are dead to sin, live any longer within? But we want to think we got our get out of hell free card once we say our little sinner's prayer, once we get baptized, we want to think, hey, you know, we can keep going. We can keep going. We can keep watching our pornography. We can keep watching our Disney Plus. We can keep smoking. We can keep drinking because now we're going to, we're going to heaven no matter what we do. Hogwash. Hogwash. Oh yeah, yeah, I can go out on Mardi Gras, expose myself to people and get drunk because then I can go get some ashes on my forehead. Hogwash! Hogwash! 
doctrines of devils. Doctrines of devils. The ashes will save you. Doctrines of devils. Praying to Mary will save you. Doctrines of devils. Mary is not a co-redeemer. Nowhere in the Bible do you say, does it say, pray to Mary. Nowhere. Why do you do it? You think a hell Mary is going to save you? Why don't you hell Jesus? Why don't you give the hailing to where it belongs? To the Son of God. Why would you con confess your sins to a priest that molests little boys? Why would you do that? They molest your children and then you're going to tell them you're sorry about watching that pornography. They probably watch it more than you do. And yes, you give your money to the Catholic Church so that they can hide them. They do everything they can to hide them instead of turn them into the cops like they should. I'm glad my voice is echoing through these streets. I'm glad. I'm glad that instead of Mardi Gras, we got preachers out here preaching the Word. We got preachers out here telling you to repent. Telling you to give up your thug life. Pull your pants up and repent. If you hate your life so much, why don't you give it to someone who wants it? But no, this is what we're going to happen. This is what's going to happen a couple of days from now. People are going to walk into this evil place. They're going to do their idol worship. They're going to get ashes put on their forehead. And then they think they're okay with God. I'm okay with God now. I can give up my whatever. Whatever it is I want to give up. All that drunkenness I did, it's, it's gone now. All this fornication that I did, it's gone now. <laughs> well, you are for one. You! You! You for starters. By the way, stop watching porn. Oh, we got the we got the porn easy now. That nowadays, you got porn easy. A few decades ago, you had to hope that uh, you could find a a penthouse or a Playboy, you know, in a dumpster somewhere. But not today. Nah, you want your porn, boy? You can just do a few a few flips, a few swipes on your phone, and you're in business, baby. And all the, while, all the while, that pornography is destroying your brain. All the while, it's destroying your brain. Your yep. Sending you to hellfire. Giving you brain damage. That's where you need to go, buddy. It's science, people. It's science. Christians love science, too. How do you think science got here? Because of Christians. It's science. You watch pornography, it's the same as hard narcotics. Pornography is the same as hard narcotics. But we think because most people do it, because most people are doing it, it's okay somehow. No, Mardi no it's not. Hey. Yeah, no Mardi Gras. Shame Sorry. Sorry, but you got some preaching. Shame on you. You can't work in hellfire. By the way, you look horrible in yoga pants, by the way. Pretty good. She's good in the sack. I hope so. That's all she's good for. Being a whore. I'll tell you what. I, 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 I wouldn't go to, you know, I don't like going to hell, but I'd hate to go to hell over an ugly woman. That's just, that's just terrible. I'd hate to go to hell over an ugly woman. Oh, you with the potty mouth. You fucking idiot. Oh, my goodness. Oh, no. Why are you hating on us then? Why are you hating on us? 
why don't you why don't you lead by example? Lead by example. You hated that girl. You because of her past? Why would you say that, sir? Why do I say that? Because because I preach the Bible. That's why. Good that you're listening. <laughs> well, the Bible says to dress modestly for one. The Bible says that it is better for you to tie a millstone around your neck and to be thrown into the cast of the sea than for you to call someone to sin. Now, that one girl that was wearing the yoga pants, I don't think she's going to cause anybody to sin. But still, you don't want to set that kind of example to people. You don't have to set that kind of example. <laughs> I'm glad I got you thinking. I'm glad you got a couple of brain cells left. Five minutes. Five minutes, Bill. We're going to wrap up banners and we're going to be moving. So five okay. Minutes. Good for you. Yeah. You can go to hell with an open Bible in front of you. You can go to hell with baptismal waters on your face. You can go to hell singing worship music. Where is your heart? Where is your heart? We got Bible here where somebody's preaching the Bible and you call him an effing idiot. Oh, I forgive you. I forgive you. I hope you, I hope you read your Bible. Read your Bible. Talking to me. Talking to what, come here. What's that? Yeah. Five yeah, you want to talk? Yeah, we'll come up. Flee, flee. Flee this place of evil. This place full of pedophile priests. This place full of idol worship. Flee. Flee. The second commandment. Second commandment says, do not bow down and worship graven images. Graven images. Like what you find in here. You. <clears throat> you will bow down and worship anything that resembles the Virgin Mary. The Virgin Mary. I thought you had to go to work. I thought you were going to work. Eight o'clock, sir. Eight o'clock. Eight o'clock. You're late. You're late. Hurry. You're late. It's the good thing you woke you up. You're late. Eight o'clock. You're late. You're late. Eight p.m. Hurry up. Eight p.m. today or tomorrow? Central Standard Time. It's it's past eight o'clock. Eight o'clock. Is it really? Uh, it's like way past eight o'clock. Eight o'clock at time, buddy. Let me check my flip phone. Yeah. Flip phone. Yeah. Do that, please. It's Sunday, by the way. Ah, you're late. It's Sunday. Every day is Sunday. <laughs> Every day is Sunday if you're a sinner. I was. What are you doing now? I'm being a walkin. A walkin? A walkin. What's a walkin? An effing walkin? A walkin. Does that woke? Does that woke stuff? Or you start accepting homosexuality and all that kind of stuff, and you you, you fall in line with Disney and uh, Google and your, your YouTube. You've been a great crowd. Be sure to tip your waitress. A little late for work.